watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. All right, howdy everybody. We're coming to you from Legends Ranch and in this video we're going to show you something special. You might be wondering why we're in the cooler. Well, we're going to show you how to cook one of the best parts and most underrated parts of a white-tailed deer. The corazón, the heart. Chef Lawrence is gonna show us a gourmet recipe that is absolutely delicious for heart. And it's actually pretty simple. I can even do it. So stick around and check out how to cook this delicious heart. My name is Lawrence Monfields. I've been the executive chef for the Gutierrez family for 14 years. Today we're gonna to do a little demonstration for you and show you how we prepare some of the opal. Uh, opal being organ meat. Uh, in these high fence ranch operations where you get to control the animal's diet very carefully, the meat is spectacular and it really reflects in the, in the opal. So today we we're going to take and show you one of our simple heart preparations. This is my assistant Beth and let's get started. We do not soak, you know, when we get a heart in here, like you see right here, it's wonderfully clean. On the top of the organ, you've got, you know, all the ducts and the piping that goes into the organ itself. So the easiest way to do it is with a sharp knife, I just stand it on edge. So I look for the, the, the cut that's simplest and saves me the most amount of meat. So on this one here, I'll just make this cut right down here because most of what's on top of the heart is grizzly, inedible meat. Now that we've got it open, you can see the interior structures. So I take my knife and I cut down halfway just so I can get it laid open. And then what we've got here is, you can see some of the connective tissues on the inside. Now the wonderful part about offal in general is you don't have to worry, be worried about meat grain. Normally in every other piece of an animal, a mammal in particular, you know, you're going to cut against the grain either for your client or in, you know, Hopefully that they do that themselves. That way they get a nice tender bite porkful. So as you can see, there's not a lot of skill required here. A good sharp knife. And then I turn it over. I compress it flat. I want to remove. This webbing right here is fine. What I'm looking to remove is any of the large grizzles. So on this heart, what we have here, now that it's cleaned, is a perfect piece of fat-free, grizzle-free meat. Now, once again, keeping my knife flat, I'm just looking to make little steaklets by cutting them into little flaps like this. And I pass them off to my assistant, and she'll take and put the pound to them. Ideally what you want is about a quarter inch thick slice. Now, for our marinade. In the seasoning cup, this is the, we use four simple ingredients. I take a spice mill. Uh, for this amount I used about a half a teaspoon kosher salt, fresh ground black pepper, Montreal steak seasoning, and granulated garlic. We'll just take and sprinkle that on the top. The best olive oil you can buy, and this is one of them. It's delicious. You know, you want enough on there to make sure that the marinade is going to be uniformly coated with oil. And then this product here is one that we like. It's out there available in the market, but Dale's seasoning from Kansas. Kansas City is excellent. Just a, you know, roughly a, a tablespoon. And there we have it. Just coat, massage it. Already smells sensational. It does smell good. Go ahead and cover that with plastic. We'll put that in the cooler. Um, we'll use it. We're going to serve this this evening here for the group. Uh, all we're going to do is pull it an hour ahead of time so it comes to room temperature. 
And then the secret to cooking this is extremely high heat quickly. You can utilize a Dutch oven, cast iron skillet, frying pan in your house. You know, the most important aspect is, is that that sucker be, you know, absolutely roaring hot, smoking hot. And then it's already oiled. And then what you're doing is, is it's gonna cook 30 seconds aside. Literally, it's a one minute dish. We utilize a commercial wok to get it done and it works handsomely. But uh, you want the pot hot enough because it's so thin and lean, it's gonna cook instantly. Pot's gotta be smoking hot to get this, that little bit of caramelization on the exterior of the meat prior to having it overcooked. So we get it in and out of the pot in about literally a minute. And then to finish it, we will fan it out. It can be served at room temperature is best. It doesn't need to be served hot. You, people eat it immediately, but <clears throat> we take a platter, we fan it out, and then we drizzle it with a little more olive oil. And then you're gonna want an acid of some sort. Now, Lemon juice works outstanding. Uh, any, you know, red wine vinegar is perfect. The apple cider vinegar, if you got it, whatever you got in your household. But I've come to, I discovered this product here last year, and it's a, it's a Japanese product. It's diluted black vinegar. It's got a wonderful, you can see it. It's got a wonderful brown base. It's got some car, nice caramel highlights, but it's also extremely weak acid. I mean, it's probably, um, I don't know what the, the acidity level is, but it's. You can drink this out of the bottle. I mean, it's got that beautiful tang, yet it's not so overpowering that you know it'll make your nose water. So, without further ado, we're just gonna turn it on. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and at this stage, we're gonna just turn it off for a second. We're gonna use grapeseed oil because of its incredibly high smoke point. What I like to do, could you give me one of those tongs? Yeah, big ones or little ones? Medium. There you go. I like to take and prep my my wok by just putting a nice sheen of oil all around the sides. Now we marinated this morning with olive oil, and having that little bit of grapeseed oil will help it so it won't burn. All at one time, here's our herb. And then I just like to spread it out, get it up on the side, open them up, and what we're looking for is, the wok's beautiful because it gets this nice caramelization, and what we're looking to do is brown its flavor. So we want some brown on each piece, but yet we want to get it out of here before it's overcooked. And the wok is the perfect piece of equipment to do just that. You can see it browning. It looks good. It does look like little pieces of deer steak. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what they are. You know, the, the heart is such a wonderful piece of meat. In my opinion, you know, there's something romantic about it because it is, in, you know, the soul of the animal. And uh, I think that you're going to find here that it eats, in my opinion, it's got more flavor, more character than, you know, the tender loin or the loin. There it is. Wow. Now, whenever you're working with me, Good Lord, that smells good. Okay, the final step in our preparation is we've got our meat sitting here resting nicely. So, to complete this, we make a simple dressing. Dressings are great for this meat prepared this way. Gives you a chance to get a little extra flavor in. In this bowl, a couple dashes of Tabasco, about a drop of honey the size of a dime. I've got some grapeseed oil. I've got some of this lovely Japanese black vinegar. And 
its flavor. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in our vinaigrette. Thank you, sir. Naturally, you got to have a little fresh herb. Here's some fresh chives. So just a sprinkle of chive. Mm. Then I made a simple salad here. We had some beautiful heirloom tomatoes with some nice sweet purple grapes right in the center. Now here at Legends Ranch, the chef believes it's very important that the ladies are satisfied. <laughs> so we always believe in, you know, what I found is I found that when you're dealing with dishes like liver and heart, you know, if you introduce it to them with a, a nice vegetable, these tomatoes are perfect. And the reason being is, is they have the acid content that will help you cut through the fat. But there it is. You're going for it. I'm going to just go for it. Yeah. I'm going to do a it's tomato. Wonderful. It's really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very, mm -hmm. very good. You know, it's so lean and healthy. It is, uh, it's, it's pretty spectacular to me. We're uh, very fond of the heart here at uh, yeah. Legends Ranch. That's wonderful. Very good. Very nice job, Lawrence. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Very You're much welcome. for your time to do this, and uh, I look forward to future demonstrations. Me too. Good. This is awesome. Yeah. I've never very had good. anything like it. So if you want more information on Legends Ranch where you can hunt the biggest whitetails in North America and eat some of the best food in North America, go ahead and give Robert a call. I ensure you will not regret it because it is the best service that I've ever been around in a hunting camp. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not lying. I mean, this is over the top. I've had a great experience every time I've been here. That's why I come back year after year.